Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to get onboarded to the Catina X network within the Cofinity X portal. As well, if you are onboarded as a business application provider, I will demonstrate real quick how to onboard a new application. Likewise, of course, also for service providers, services can be onboarded starting from today. So let's have a quick look at the system. The first step is always to receive an invitation. Once you're invited by one of your business partners or by Cofinity X, you will receive two emails. The first one will point you to your onboarding and the registration screen. And the second one consists and contains an initial password, which of course during the login process must be updated. Once your company registration is completed, you will be able to select your company here from all the companies which are already part of the Katina X network. So let's just quickly log in as the Cofinity GmbH. Depending on the role of your company, whether you are a data provider, consumer, or whether you are a business application provider or a service provider, you have multiple and various options. So for example, the marketplace, so the application marketplace, as well as the service marketplace, this is available for everyone in the network who is registered. So let's quickly have a look on the marketplace. There are various apps already listed, like the Golden Record Service, Fraud Prevention, another business partner application, or other applications which are going to be listed here on that marketplace for various use cases in the next couple of days. The same applies, of course, also for the service marketplace. Also here, we have the possibility to onboard and to make use of enablement services, of advisory services, and much more the Katina X Networks offers to its participants. So now, as a business application provider, the question is, how do I onboard my application? Pretty easy. Just go on App Maintenance and click on Onboard in a New Application. So in this case, I've already prepared an application which is currently in draft state. So let's quickly have a look what needs to be added and how this process of onboarding a new application really works. So first of all, there's an overview page. It's this overview tile. We just have to select the app title and it's directly updating here on the tile as well. A short description of the application and of course you need to select one of the use cases various use cases Katina X is supporting. In this case we have onboarded a traceability application so of course the use case traceability needs to be selected. Enter some keywords and select the languages the app is supporting. Once this is selected, there can be a logo, app logo being, being uploaded, and we simply click on Save and Proceed. You are able to upload your company logo, which is, of, of course, necessary to demonstrate that you are the one providing this application to the Katina X network. There are various additional fields which are supporting additional app details on the marketplace, like long descriptions or also highlight images like screenshots or marketing images from your application. We have various possibilities to add key features and to promote those key features on the marketplace itself. So 
So let's quickly just add a key feature here. Just add the key feature title and a short description. description. Now, additional possibilities to upload images or even to add an embedded video, for example, from YouTube. On the next screen, everything is about documentation and privacy. So if you have any reference documents, if you have any case studies with existing customers and users of the application, make use of the opportunity to get this uploaded and get this distributed within the network. Documents part is optionally, whereas privacy, of course, is a mandatory feature. So you need to highlight which attributes are being collected, stored within your application that are either linked to the user's identity or whether there is anything which is not which is tracked but not linked to personal data. Last but not least on this privacy page Please update the provider information. So give a contact of the pro for this particular application and also a phone number. Whereas the phone number, as you can see here, is optional. The second last step is about pricing. First, it starts with a pricing overview. So you can just add some highlights on your pricing model of this application. And then it goes into further details. It starts with the selection, whether you have a free trial of the app, yes or no, or whether you even have a free version of the application. There might be the possibility and the need also to add additional links to existing landing pages, to existing pricing details, which you already have on your website. And then we are going into the pricing plans itself. There are multiple options to create pricing plans. Up to five pricing plans can be created. And you simply just select the amount and of course, or define the amount and of course also the pricing model and the payment frequency. We go to the next page, it's about the technical integration, specifically on the roles. So roles are being uploaded. These are the roles which are used within your application, the user roles. So for example, you might have admin roles. Just give a enter the role name and a brief description about the role and the authorization. at the role and you see this is the admin we just created a couple of seconds ago. That's it. Now on the last page, it's just about reviewing what you've entered. Check. And submit the application for listing on the marketplace. Once the marketplace operators like us from Cofinity X have reviewed your application, it will be automatically published and available for your users to subscribe on the marketplace itself. The same process can of course also be done just by service providers. Similar to the app onboarding self-service, there's also a service onboarding self-service already available. Now the big question for the third group 
of companies, the data providers and consumers is, where do I register my EDC? And this just happens here in the technical integration, EDC integration, navigation item. Just click on register your new connector, select the company connector, Add the URL which you got from your EDC provider and hit on confirm. So now you can see that this connector was created successfully and, con and, and added within the portal. The registration is still pending. It will take one or two minutes and then also this asynchronous call is completed. You can see here for a connector, which I recently connected and made available to the Katina X network, this one is already active. So in a nutshell, starting from today, you will be able to onboard to the Katina X network. You are able to log into the Cofinity X portal Register your connector as a app, business application provider. You can make use of the onboarding self-service and list your applications. The same, of course, you also can do as a service provider, be it for enablement services or for advisory services. Make use of it.